Hey guys, welcome back to the Wad Doc Project 365, episode 1692 or three, one of those. Guys, if you're following along on YouTube, jump on over to the waddoc.com and check out all the full length videos that we house there. Today, what we're doing is using a body hook uh, to get into our traps, a place that we hold so much tension, especially if we're over the desk or computer for long periods of time, and can give us a lot of discomfort in the neck and shoulder area. So what I want you guys to do uh, is get yourself a hook, something like this. Uh, it doesn't have to be this brand. They make a whole bunch of different kinds, but this is a great one as well. You can see that there's a little nodule on this right here. So what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to draw down like that. We're gonna try to draw the angle of that nodule. Uh, but first, what I want us to do is talk about a little bit of anatomy. If I was to go from the tip of my shoulder to where my spine starts, hang out in the middle and hang out a little bit to the back. But I wanna be on top of that little bone, um, that area right there we call the spine of the scapula. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right in the middle there, I'm gonna find that spine of the scapula and then I'm gonna draw forward. So you see how I'm doing that? I'm drawing forward, I'm getting into that meaty tissue right there. Now from right here I can just hang out, I can start to roll my shoulder forward and backward, forward and backward. And that's a great way just to start to get some mobilization in there. But if I wanna add a little to this, guys, I can start with some lateral neck flexion. So I'm gonna hold constant pressure, and now I'm just gonna floss in a different direction. So when I roll my shoulder back, and when I roll my shoulder forward, I'm able to get mobilization in one direction. When I laterally flex, contralaterally and ipsilaterally, I can mobilize in a different direction. So go ahead, find yourself one of those hot spots. I know we have one. Everyone, everyone seems to have a hot spot in your shoulder. Move a little bit to the inside or towards the, towards the spine. Move a little bit to the outside or towards the shoulder. Find yourself a hot spot. Get on that sucker. Hold some constant pressure. How much is too much? You shouldn't be holding your breath. It shouldn't be to the point where you're like, oh my gosh, I can't take this. But you can add a little bit of pressure to where you feel some discomfort, but it has to be to your tolerance level, okay? So get in there um, on one of those little uh, knots and trigger points. Try both sides here. Of course, just don't do one. I showed you one, but do both. And go ahead and feel the difference and the relaxation that you feel in your shoulders before and after, okay? Questions and comments, guys, uh, post them below. Otherwise, we are here each and every day optimizing function to optimize performance. <laughs>